Okay, this is a follow-up to the hexagon construction, and this is about some extra things that we get from the hexagon's construction. So, if I go ahead and make those six points on a circle uh, as if I were going to make a hexagon, I have lots of other things I can do, and I want to show you those. One of the things I can do, and I'll do these things in pencil, is I get a triangle out of this. So, let's see. Oh, gosh, that's my pencil. <clears throat> well, I'll just do it in pen, I guess. So, if you took, uh, if you connected every other dot, like this, and it doesn't matter where you start, just every other dot, you'll get an equilateral triangle. So this is one way of making an equilateral triangle. Uh, there is another I'll show you. Equilateral, um, it's also equiangular. Right. Now another thing you can do uh, with this construction is you can make a dodecagon. And a dodecagon has 12 sides, um, twice as many. So dodeca is 12. And so how do we do that? Well, we can use the perpendicular bisector to divide this arc in half. And uh, we can actually keep our compass at the same opening that it has been. If you make a mark below and you make a mark above, swap the pointing end of the compass to the other point, make a mark above, make a mark below. Now notice over here, I, I, I missed the mark a bit. That happens sometimes. Go back and find where, find that divot in the paper where you had placed your compass before and just uh, remake that intersection. Now what's convenient about this is that this, if I, um, if I line up these two points, I don't have to connect them. I just want to find out where they divide that arc. And it divides it on both sides. So that now, I have these chunks of the circle that are one-twelfth instead of one-sixth. Before, they were one-sixth of the circle. But now I have one-twelfth. That's what I'm going to need to make a 12-sided polygon. Okay. So I can do this two more times and get all the other ones. I could go up here, and uh, the center of the circle ends up being one of the points. And so I actually don't have to make that one over and over again. Oh, I missed it again. I'll go back up. I've got my points. And uh, make a little mark on the perimeter of the circle. Perimeter of the circle. Now I have a twelfth. I have a twelfth. I have a twelfth. I have a twelfth. I just need one more um, perpendicular bisector. Oops, I'm off camera a little bit. Now when you're using your compass like this, as you go around, because you're making, uh, you're puncturing the paper, use the same puncture point each time. That'll help uh, your precision. So I have these two intersections. I can line up my, my ruler with them, and then make a little intersection on the circumference of the circle. And now I have all my parts. So I can connect all of these and make a dodecahedron. So one of the ways we can make uh, more complicated polygons is by starting with something simple and then using um, uh, some method of uh, you know, subdivision to turn that simpler polygon with less sides into something with a whole lot more sides. So almost done here. So there's a, a dodecagon. Now, so we've got a triangle, we've got a dodecagon, all from a hexagon. <clears throat> Another thing we can do, notice that with this triangle we had only connected every other point. Um, you can also, here's a symbol that you've probably seen before. 
Um, if you connect all the points of the hexagon, you get what's called the Star of David. It's a six-pointed star. It's called the hexagram. And if you were to continue that pattern inside of the dodecagon, let me use another color here to highlight that, then you'll have two overlapping stars of David, or two hexagrams. So I'm hoping that you can start to see, in the tradition of 101, you take some simple ideas, and uh, there's lots of stuff you can do with them. So here we have uh, another star of David in red. Um, or equivalently, we have four equilateral triangles. And uh, a couple more neat things to notice is that in the middle here, you get another dodecagon, kind of for free. And there are also various other stars um, uh, around this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So here are some, some extras. I think I'll call this hexagon extras uh, one because uh, it's a bit more we can do.